your Catholic Daily Journal for Friday, January the 18th, 2019. Today is the birthday of author A.A. A. Milne, who wrote, Halfway down the stairs is a stair where I sit. There isn't any other stair quite like it. I'm not at the bottom. I'm not at the top. So this is the stair where I always stop. Halfway up the stairs isn't up, and it isn't down. It isn't in the nursery, it isn't in town. And all sorts of funny thoughts run round my head. It isn't really anywhere, it's somewhere else instead. Milne was born in London in 1882, and two years before his 30th birthday, he'd already published two novels. It would take him 12 years to complete the work that he's most famous for today, an illustrated book for children featuring a young boy named Christopher Robin and his fantastic friends in the Hundred Acre Wood. Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, Piglet, Rabbit, Kanga, and Roo had their adventures and learned life lessons. Milne was deliberate with his message of pacifism and he published until just a few years before his death in 1956. He was a beloved poet and the author of wonderful short stories. Today is the feast in the church of St. Cyril of Alexandria. He was the bishop of Alexandria in Egypt from 412 to 444, and he was a fiery preacher and writer. In fact, he was blamed for causing riots after his sermons condemning the heretical teachings of Nestorius. The historian heresy denies that Jesus is fully God and fully man and posits that his two natures are radically distinct. And this seems to be a tiny squabble among experts, but the consequences of bad theology happen very quickly, especially when you happen to be made in the image and likeness of the God you're arguing about. Nestorianism devolves into something like modern-day biblical fundamentalism very quickly, and it opens a Pandora's box wherein someone can say, I'm saved, without any reference to their behavior or repentant for sins. St. Cyril was considered one of the church fathers and a doctor of the church for his clarity and his passion. We honor him today and we ask for his prayers for us. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.